You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers running from Monday, April 1st, all the way through Friday, April 12th. There is a lot happening in Genoa City. By the end of these two weeks, we are going to be pretty close, edging closer and closer to May Sweeps, which starts at the end of the month, and we've got explosive stuff coming. I'm so excited to unpack all this for you. If you haven't, though, please reach down, click subscribe, so you don't miss any of our updates. And now let's dive right in to all the good stuff. All right, we've got week one starting on Monday, April 1st. Tucker vows to Audra that he is there for her and that he told Ashley's family, this is what's going on. You need to take care of her. He said, I'm not playing hero for her. The only woman I'm going to be a hero for is you. Isn't that sweet? They swap I love yous. And it seems like he has got her back in the palm of his hand where he wants her. But not long after that, they head upstairs to his room at the GCAC. Obviously, they've got romantic plans, but Ashley's there waiting. I don't know how she gets into his room. Is one of her alter egos a locksmith? That would be the only explanation. Tucker has had enough and Audra and Ashley are ready to brawl. He throws her out of his room. He's making it very painfully clear to both her and Audra who he has chosen. And then out in the hallway, Ashley is like, where am I? What have I done? How did I get here? And then she heads home and tells Tracy that she doesn't remember where she was. And it looks like she is losing time. Earlier in the day on Monday, Jack talks to Tracy about his concerns about Ashley and how Tucker approached him, but that he just just doesn't believe it. Okay, Jack, you really, really need to believe it. Jack and Diane talk about that and other topics. And she suggests having her moved over to COO and giving Kyle the co-CEO job because he's so angsty about it. And Jack is like, No, he is not going to let his entitled son bully his way into this. Claire has several social interactions. She runs into Kyle and they have a nice chat. She runs into Michael and Lauren and they have a nice chat. And then she runs into Summer. And that's when the chats stop being so nice because Summer does not trust her as far as she can throw her. And then after Claire leaves, she tells Chance all about her bad deeds and why she doesn't like her at all. We get a glimpse of Jordan cross-dressing as a bearded guy lurking around Claire. Very, very creepy. Michael reports to Victor that Eve Howard, which is her sister's name, bought a ticket on like a flight or a bus out of town, but I think it's a flight. And Victor is savvy finally to her antics and is like, I don't believe it. I think it's a red herring. And Adam is on his way out of town to go help Connor get settled in at the therapeutic facility he's going to. But following Nick's advice, he drops by to tell Victor about his diagnosis. He tells Victoria about the diagnosis as well and is actually nice to her about Claire. And she's nice to him about Connor. We have got progress, people. And that takes us to Tuesday, April 2nd. Daniel and Heather have each other. Their family is back together, but they are unemployed. I don't know how they're going to afford that nice penthouse he's been living of an M. They are tense and their new normal is taking a little bit of a toll on them. Meanwhile, Cole, Cole and Victoria talk to their daughter, Claire, and they tell the story about how they met and fell in love. If you guys don't know this story, it's pretty dodgy because Cole was banging her mom first. I don't know if they're going to tell Claire all that. That'd be a little awkward, but you never, never know. Phyllis and Billy have a stunning run in on Tuesday as well. Wednesday, April 3rd, we we have got Nikki hanging out with Jack at Society, and Ash. Uh, she is completely stunned when a waiter brings over a drink for her. It's a triple vodka, and he says it's from the man at the bar. The man isn't there anymore, but the man clearly is Jordan in drag out trying to knock her off the wagon again. And Ashley makes a huge confession to Tracy while Tucker again 
Ben proves to Audra just how devoted he is to her and not Ashley, not anybody else. Thursday, April 4th, we have Nikki maybe taking a drink again. All this Jordan stuff is getting to her. The temptation is eating at her and she might be back on the bottle towards the end of week one. Lily argues with Devon about Billy and his role at Chancellor Winters. They're not very happy with it. And Audra questions Tucker's intentions on Thursday. That takes us to Friday, April 5th, when Billy makes a vow to Chelsea. And I'm guessing it's something about supporting her and Connor and being there and not pushing Adam's buttons. Billy and Adam are being mature. Nick and Adam are being mature. Now Adam and Victoria are being mature. We're not going to have any drama left on our soap, right? Nick spends some time reconnecting with Lily as the first week ends and Sally has Adam on the right course. All right, that takes us to the week of April 8th through 12th. We are getting a new Harrison on Friday, April 12th. And that means Kellen Enriquez is out. So we have a new kid replacing Kellen Enriquez, who has been playing the role since gosh, quite a few years now. And I'm going to miss Kellen's wild mane of hair. He has the most gorgeous curly hair. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that kid needs a haircut. I don't think so. I thought his hair was beautiful, but we're not going to have him to look at after after now because he has been replaced. Redding Mansell seems to be a, a, a good little actor. The, the thing is, is that he is the same age. So if you were hoping for a Saurus, that is not happening. Oh, and I'm sorry, it's not Mansell, it's Munsell, Redding Munsell. So there's been some talk about with the new kid around that Jordan may try and kidnap him and Claire saves him. Just that's rumor, not spoiler. So we'll see, but clearly there is more action ahead and I feel it is tied to Claire, but I don't know about kidnapping and all that. We'll see how it goes. I'm worried that Connor is not going to settle in real well at this new school. And there's definitely more drama there building as we head into sweeps. But Billy is there as Chelsea's rock and Sally is there as Adam's rock and Adam and Billy are getting along. So as I said, it's kind of exciting. So the big action comes Thursday and Friday, April 11th and 12th with the 40th anniversary party set to celebrate the very first wedding anniversary, the first time they got married back in 1984. It happened on April 13th, but April 13th falls on a Saturday. So they're having to do it a couple of days early. Jordan will be there. She will show up. She will wreak havoc. This is her big end game plot, her explosive exit. I'm exciting to it. Watch as Ashley Abbott continues to circle the drain. But the good news is her family is finally starting to see what Tucker tried so so hard to tell them that this is not a good scene and this is going to end up embroiling Jack and Tracy, Billy and Diane with a side helping of Tucker and Audra involved. And I expect it to reach its full crescendo during sweeps. And I just wonder if Heather might have some backlash in mind over her firing. I hope she doesn't file a lawsuit. She wasn't wrongfully terminated because Wisconsin is an at-will state and you can be fired for no reason or pretty much any reason in most cases. So we will see how that goes. Those are all of our two-week spoilers. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Definitely let me know what you are excited to see and head back here soon because we are talking YNR seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 